uh, I'm reminded about one story that uh, uh, I would like to share with you is about this. Um, long ago, there was a, a certain king, and he was a very great king, very loved by his people, and uh, very just, wise, compassionate. All the kingly qualities he had them had them, but he was getting old and uh, weak, and uh, he had no son or no daughter. His wife also has passed away some years ago, and so he came. It came to him that it was now time for him to find a successor for his throne. So he discussed it with his close ministers, and he decided that he wanted, in fairness, not having any. Uh, natural hereditary uh, here to his kingdom that he wanted to put this invitation to all the people in his kingdom any of you who feel that you are fit or capable or inspired uh, to run this kingdom then uh, you must come to the palace on such and such a date you must present yourself and then we will train you in the royal ways and this training will go on for six months you'll try out all the different aspects of ruling a kingdom and after six months then you'll come before the king himself and he will uh, he will interview him interview you himself and from the people who remain he will choose a king or a queen for his kingdom you see so this announcement was put together and uh, it was announced to all the inhabitants of this kingdom the king has made this has made this decision he wants to choose a king or a queen from among you so any of you who feel that you have you are the right person then you must present yourself on such and such a date at the palace and then we will begin the interviews we'll begin the training and the interviews so the royal trumpet is blown. Ba, 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 ba. <laughs> the announcement is made, and surely enough, on that day came. Hundreds of people came. The king is delighted to hear about it. Hundreds of people all imagine that they are the one who will be chosen to be king of this kingdom or to succeed this very great king, you see. So this is how it was. So they are welcomed, all the people are welcomed, and they are told, you know, okay, you will follow a certain a certain order of um, of uh, training. It will start first with the royal baths. Everybody must take royal bath, and the royal in the in the kingdom there's huge bath space. So can you imagine hundreds of people? Hundreds of people they got undressed. There's place for the women, place for the men. They got into. They've never many of them never seen jacuzzi before. They got into jacuzzi. They are everybody's full of laughter. They are giggling. They're enjoying themselves. <laughs> After this um, jacuzzi and baths, also they have people to wash their backs for them. Some people never had their backs washed before. All these things. Then massage. They're having massage. Massage. They have massage. They have reflexology. They have everything. They have acupuncture. Everything they are having, you see. Mm. So they are enjoying themselves very, very much. And uh, after this, also some are offered reiki and all of this stuff. So they are really pumped very well. After this time, now they are led now to the royal, um, the rooms for dressing. To wear royal robes and the best silks, uh, brocade, all of these garments. Are made for each person are fitted, you know, fitted with royal uh, dress, Your shawls and you know jackets and uh, every f kind of clothing, you no, know, is presented for them, and so they get to try on all of these and also a lot of jewelry and uh, all the kingly things. They get to have a taste of them. Everybody now has their own garment, or they, or they can design what they want, or they can ask the royal designer to design something for them. When they are finished from here now, they go and they are introduced to uh, the king has many fine horses, beautiful horses. No? So each one must learn you know, to ride on a horse and to, you know, to understand uh, a little bit of the character and the nature of each horse and to, you know, the pastime, the king loves riding and so on. So all they get a chance, everyone get a chance also to saddle up and to mount the royal horses and to ride about <laughs> like this. After they finish the horses, now 
they must go into the that place where you will learn about politics and diplomacy and the art of war. Everyone must study these things. How to discuss and to be diplomatic with your enemy, how to understand them, and to avoid war at any cost. War must be the last resort. First we talk. This is politics and so on. Discuss things and so on. And when you have done all of these things, finally now you go into the temple of holiness. In this place you go, you learn meditation, contemplation, also to discuss with some of the wise men in the kingdom to see how much deep your wisdom is, because you cannot be a king or queen without being wise. You see. Finally, when you've gone through all of these different areas, you are then brought in front of the king. And now the king will look at you. And amongst the last people, those people remaining, he will choose a king or a queen. And this so all the people are told this. They are explained all these different stages that they must go through. Six months they are given for this training, which is a short time, but for the ones who are fit, because this is part of this part of it. If you are fit, you will go through in six months. You will be ready. So off you go. Bang, bang, bang. Everybody's off. So everybody jumps in the baths and they are having their jacuzzis and so on, and then they are being processed, going along. Three months pass, four months pass, five months pass. Now the sixth month has come. The first week of the sixth month, the second week of the sixth month. Now. And the king is inquiring now of his ministers and advisors, how are they doing? How are the people doing now? And oh yes, I, I feel they are getting along uh, nicely. You know, okay, very good. Then came the fourth week of the sixth month. Now just a few days to go. Now one day before. Now the king calls. Okay, fine, fine. Now I am. I am ready. Myself, I've been in contemplation, waiting for this day. Please go and fetch the people. Bring them here now. You see. So, the servants they went down. First, now they went, of course, to the temple of holiness. Nobody's there. So they came back to the king, my lord. Uh, sorry, sorry, but nobody is in the temple of holiness. Really? Okay, okay, go, 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 and speed them up. It is the time is running out. So they ran to all the different places. They saw a few people in each place. Most people still in the royal baths. People still bathing and stuff. They, the the ministers go, whoa! What are you all doing here? What are you doing here? Then he's picking on, what? What are you doing here? Because some of them now, they're in the royal baths. They are now sort of like. Uh, uh, they become masseurs themselves. First they were massaged, now they become masseurs themselves. They're massaging people and stuff like this. Some of them set up companies selling jacuzzi and things like this. Yeah, so I said, but, but what is this? This is a completely many right Reiki schools and practitioners. They said, okay, what are you doing here? I said the, the servant. He said, uh, yes, 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 yes. Uh, please say thank you to the king. Because we found our vocation here. Very good. Very good. We give very good massage. Also give the king, the king our card, business card to the king. If he wants a good massage, Reiki, he will come. I give very best Reiki. Thank the king very, very much. Oh, the minister is completely upset. What can I tell you? Then he goes to the next place, and the place where the, where the royal garments are, are, are made. Many people having fashion shows. All this thing, wearing bling bling and everything like this, looking very smart and oh, oh, you know, what are you doing here? You should have been now. You should be in the temple of holiness. Oh, relax yourself, man. <laughs> Chill. Look, you know, oh, come on, you know, you could do it new suit yourself. I will dress you and everything like this. I will t tell the king, uh, thank you very much, but we have found our purpose in life. Isn't it amazing how consciousness works? God is great. He has so many ways of bringing you to what you should be doing, and we are tailors. Some of them we are designers, all these type of thing. So the minister says, Oh my god, what can we tell the king? So he hurriedly he goes to the next place to look for the horses. Again, many people are there riding horses, riding horses, they're having um, sort of like uh, horse parades, they're having horse races. Some of them are having themselves photographed on the horses like Napoleon and everything like this. They're 
He says, no, 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 this is not meant to be. No, no, come, 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 move on, get off those horses, get off those horses, get to the next place where these are going. So he is, um, he doesn't say, my God, what are we to do? Let us go into the place of the, the art of war and politics and diplomacy. Many people are also there in this place, arguing. Some of them have set up political parties and they are discussing amongst themselves, you know, who we are this type and we don't belong to this party. And uh, so, it's my God, my God, my God, what to do? So now the report comes back to the king, my Lord, I don't know what to say, but all the rooms are full. All the rooms are full. All the rooms are full, my Lord. Oh, okay, okay. Bring me those from the Temple of Holiness now. I'm, I will just take those. The minister goes in Temple of Holiness. Nobody is there. He comes back and he says, uh, My Lord, there is nobody in the Temple of Holiness. What do you mean? What are you saying? There must be some. No, my Lord, there is nobody there except the cleaning boy. There is nobody there. Who's cleaning boy? What's cleaning boy? What cleaning boy? He says, just just the boy who cleans the temple, my lord. Bring him to me. So they go inside. They found a little boy, ten years old. Come, the king wants to see you. Ah, are you sure? Sure. What have I done? He says, no, no, no. Come, come, come quickly. Don't ask questions. Come. So they brought this little boy in front of the king, and the boy's head is bowed. He cannot even look up at the king. The king says, what, what are you doing in my temple? So the boy, he, he cannot even look at the king. He says, my lord, I am, I'm, I'm cleaning the temple. This is my job. But um, I'm overwhelmed again now, you see. I can't speak like this. Um, so he says, I um, I was brought here from a child, and I've worked in all these different places. But now I'm only cleaning the temple, my lord. And what have you? What have you? Are you spying on me? No, no, my lord. I, I, I don't. I don't. I, but I never see you. He says, "Yes, my lord. I don't like to disturb you. Tell me what you have seen." So the boy says, "What I've seen is." Um, the king goes to all these places, has all these different duties to perform all these different areas in the baths and the robes and politics and horses. But when the king comes to this place, I see he's not attached to anything at all. And here he, he simply sits and he removes all his clothing, especially the king undresses himself of even his mind. He comes and he sits. And he sits here, and it's as though the king vanishes as king, and I don't know what to call him anymore. So, anyhow, he says, the king says, How can this be? All these people have called, and only you come. And I see it was such a waste of time. You are the one who should rule my kingdom. You alone are worthy to rule this kingdom. Because you are t- you are detached yourself. As a young child, you are detached. So he embraces this boy, temple boy. He says, you don't even need any training. You have used your young years very well. Come, sit here with me. This is all yours now. So of all these people that were called, then only this boy come. And who is this boy? My question in satsang, who, when will this boy be found? So this is my story today. <laughs> Uh, 
Every time I tell the story, I, I can go. I, I come to a point I can't go. It's much easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs>